Welcome Zimbabwean viewers all over the world. My name is Mnashi Makue and I'm your host today for the New Zing TV showbiz segment. Today we have a special lineup for you today. We have a special guest. I cannot say a close friend, but I hope one day it will be. <laughs> uh, we have Tinashe Navonika, aka Navigator. Tinashe, how are you today? I'm alright, I'm alright. Thanks for having me. I uh, know, it's a pleasure. It's truly a pleasure. Firstly and foremost, I like to just jump into it right off of the get go. Tell us a little bit about yourself because I might know you on a certain level, but other people may not know who Tanasha is and what he's all about. Can you like take us through that whole okay. aspect of yourself? Yeah, so uh, Tanasha Navonika is a Zimbabwean boy, uh, born and bred in Harare, schooled in Harare. Then later on, Midland State University, uh, I'm a proud uh, ambassador of that badge. <laughs> then the, I'm now uh, going by, by my Monica Navonica, I mean Navigator, sorry. Uh, for my music, uh, I stay in South Africa, but currently here to push some, some projects, uh, meeting guys like yourself, uh, doing the things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there isn't, well, there isn't a lot really about Navigator, but Navigator is just a musician who's just trying to to preach through uh, through through the good vibes, uh, through the sounds. You know, you know how it goes. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand. And believe me, they are good people. You should really look out <laughs> for this person. He he has enormous talent <laughs> on him uh, currently, and I think he's gonna go way far beyond ah, what thanks, he's doing man, right thanks, now. Thanks, man. I understand the aspect that you do Afrofusion music. Oh yeah. Can you like take us through a little bit what is Afrofusion music exactly? Okay. So I think to start with uh, the fact that uh, I am African, mm. whatever I, I do is going to be Afro something, mm. you know. Mm. Uh, it could be pop, it's going to be Afro pop. Afro -pop? If it's uh, hip hop, it's still going to be Afro pop. <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if I do jazz, uh, it's not just going to be jazz, it's going to be Afro jazz. Mm. So uh, I'm actually a cross genre artist. So to call myself, um, I mean, to limit myself to one genre, I, I didn't see it uh, as fitting. So I thought of a term that will encompass all the things I do. I don't want to change my genre uh, almost always. Uh, mm. When I do a different song, I, mm. I say I'm a hip hop person. I So uh, me being Afro and me fusing all the genres in one, it just became Afro fusion. Just but I could do pop today. I could do hip hop tomorrow. So basically you're an all rounder. You can do literally do anything. I can actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's good. That's good. Well, moving on. There's an certain song that you did with a very popular Zimbabwean artist, Rocky. Oh, yes. How, how was the experience of that song? And for those who don't know it, you can like further explain to them like what okay. the song was all about. Where was your vision? Where were you coming from? How did you guys meet? Like, you know, take us through the whole process. Yeah. So, yeah, I, 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 I'll, I'll say it uh, truthfully. Uh, you know, Rocky has been an inspiration of mine over the years. Actually, one of the reasons I actually decided to get into the singing business. Rocky's just so good. Rocky is Rocky. Rocky pulls off some, some codes we can't. It's fitting and, you know? with his name. Exactly. Rocky is just an icon on his own. So when I came here, uh, my aim was to collaborate with as much, uh, as much uh, artists as it I is can. As possible. Mm. Uh, from producers and all. And then Rocky was on top of my list <laughs> he was like the number one aim he yeah. was the main target especially because he's been an inspiration to my music and uh he's i mean his rock is just cool if you get to, to spend a day with him you understand what i'm talking about so we, i paid rocky a visit at his house okay. uh, we had a few uh i mean we had a few snacks uh, talking over a little bit of conversation not. yeah you know how it goes and then uh, one thing led to the other we spoke about doing a song mm -hmm. and then we did it the next day the song is called Ndomuda Mani. Ndomuda Mani is a song that talks about um, this guy <laughs> who finally finds uh, that one person whom that they really true. actually love. Yeah. So yeah, uh, we, we, 
the song is just I don't know. For me, it's uh, it's one of those songs that are close to the heart. You you I, you finally get to work with your, your uh, with, with your icon. You know you yeah, know. Yeah, I, I understand. I understand. So yeah, Domo Damani, it's out there, and we're currently working on uh, on the visuals. Uh, uh, Rocky and myself. Yeah. You you you're like co-producing the whole item, like the video and stuff. Yeah, I could say co-directing. Okay, okay. Then okay. I might, uh, just like I did with my previous one, I will I will I will do the post-production of, okay. uh, of of the shoot and whatnot. Just like in everything, you're always an all-rounder. You're like everywhere. Yeah, I think uh, I I like getting my hands dirty. I I don't want I I don't want to be the artist who sits back and uh, get things done. It's good. Uh, maybe with time I'll I'll get there. But uh, right now I'm not trying to let. Uh, I'm not try. I'm not. I'm not. Go I'm not making excuses for myself. Mm, if I can hold uh, the reflector, I'm going to. If I can edit uh, a piece of something, I you're can. Going to, if you I'm can going hold the camera, you're, yeah, you're going to. Yeah. If I'm if I'm going to put my two cents in directing, I'm going to do it. Mm, so mm. yeah, I find myself <laughs> doing more, maybe more than I'm expected to do. But I like it like that. And I think that's a good thing to be honest. You get more exposure and more experience on literally like everything because the music oh, yeah. industry is not just the aspect of just putting music out there. You must also be like in aspect of video production. Like you must just be there. These people should feel you like you're there. True. Okay, okay, okay. I understand. <laughs> I hope viewers you're following this because this, this is now getting very interesting. This is an interesting <laughs> topic we have right here. Currently, you have a song out. Yeah. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it should be three weeks now since it's released. Uh, maybe I think it's actually the video released though. Mm. Uh, happy place. Happy place. Happy place. Yeah, it's. I think today might be the seventh day, so it's in it's in its first week. Actually. Oh, it's in its, it's, first, in its first week. Please do forgive me. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, happy place. Uh, happy place is also one of those songs I like a lot. Mm. I, I I actually suspect I'm going to be saying that on every for every <laughs> song. <laughs> no, like every song has but a yeah, meaning. Yeah, it's you close. know, but a happy place is one of the, uh, one one of those songs that I actually like. Um, my my story is funny. I came to to Zimbabwe to work on something, then something led to the other, and then lockdown started, and things started getting real, and you know, the only way out of. Um, out of all the frustrations was to just brush aside all the mishappenings and the whatnots and just find my happy place yeah and just you know? be you in your own mm. comfort zone exactly so we we all know what what the world is going through uh the pandemics the new pandemics the old pandemics with the future in, pandemics <laughs> yeah the future pandemics so happy place is a song that uh that acknowledges that we actually do have a lot going on. We've got problems. We've got all these things. But then, are we going to sit and uh, cry about it, or cry we're about just it, or we going to take a life. leap of faith and yeah. go to our happy place? That's what the song is about, basically. No, no, I understand. <laughs> that song was actually touching <laughs> to me. I think I actually cried a bit because of the whole situation and what's going on right now. Like it, like hit the heart. Okay. Like no, you should just like. Let everything go and just find yeah, that's true. your happy place. And on the video of Happy Place, um, since you talked about the aspect of you, like linking with a lot of people, you know, now I kind of get the idea why <laughs> DJ Phantom was there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because I saw him, like, y'all kind of like had a little conversation there. Like, what's happening? Are we like gonna look, look forward to something between you two guys or, or what? So, yeah, definitely. Uh, I, I mean, we don't know what uh, what to expect in in the future, but uh, special shout out to Fanta and Chew Spot. They came through for us. You know, it's not easy to just pull uh, pull. I mean, pull off uh, DJ Fanta and to just come in. Oh, uh, believe you know. me, he's expensive. I know. Yeah, something like that. But he he, he just came and uh, li he liked the vibes. He just came through, endorsed the the video, gave it a thumbs up. Uh, and you're in his area. Remember that. Oh yeah, I was. So <laughs> he actually helped us a lot uh get i mean with with casting some of the people who were on the video and whatnot yeah in like uh, certain locations where yeah you and that that, the conversation we we're having on the video mm. was actually a real one 
uh, he was actually giving me a few pointers on something. There's a thing. People <laughs> don't get it in aspect of like video. People, you should go like behind the scenes and see what's happening. That mm. was an actual conversation. You hear it for yourself. That was like an actual conversation between yeah. you two guys. I don't know what y'all are talking about. I couldn't hear it because you know we're the music about over hip, it. Hip, we're talking about happy places. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, I, I I think that's a good one. But I think I should have asked this question before because mm. this is an important question. You said you you were born in born Zimbabwe. You know, Zimbabwean men were handsome, as you can <laughs> see. But like, there's a certain aspect of inspiration in that aspect of music. I try to do music myself, but hey, you know, with work and all this, it doesn't really go accordingly. It's true. But like, inspiration, where does yours come from? I literally draw my inspiration from my surroundings. It could be you right now. Uh, I could be maybe getting a certain vibe from you, mm -hmm. or maybe I could get uh, a certain vibe from a certain man we met downstairs. A conversation we had in the parking bay with someone down mm -hmm. there, you know. Mm -hmm. Then it just triggers something, just like I was explaining on um, on ha with Happy Place. It's uh, sometimes it comes as a realization that okay, l look here, I I'm in this I'm in this corner. Am I going to stay in the corner? Or maybe I just uh, I just dived into a river. Am I going to s to to say to stay submerged in it, or I'm going to to swim out or something? Come, come back up, yes. So yeah. everything that's uh, that's around me is my I mean it's my inspiration. It's my playground. No, no, no. I like that. Uh, I like depending that. on the day, it could be <laughs> good inspiration. <laughs> then it could be a bad inspiration. Yeah, it could yeah. be it could be uh, it could be bad vibes. Then yeah, I'll just make a. <laughs> bad vibe song but yeah because days are different you y'all can be like happy every different. day days and like certain situations push you to make certain aspects of music that you'll be bringing out yeah for sure no. so yeah that's uh yeah that's uh, how i get to to get the inspiration to i'm actually to being inspired right now <laughs> to con continue with my music like push on but anyway, people don't worry. You probably see me one day somewhere, either here in Zimbabwe, or you can see me on Tracy. You, you might never know. You might never. This might be my inspiration. You might never know. So okay, in accordance, I'm just now now like looking at music mm. as a broad in general, like Zimbabwe music. Um, how do you take a look at it? Like, are we making strands? Are we going far? Like, are the pullbacks like? We need people who like out there need tips like in like mm -hmm. I told you, I mean I'm also trying to venture into music. So I like we need to know how to like push forward. Okay. Should we like go for social media or I don't know, like radio? Okay. Like give us a So in terms of uh, I think uh uh there were quite quite a number of uh questions in one. Yeah, in right there. but the so open one people please do follow. <laughs> <laughs> so in terms of uh Zimbabwean music as a whole I think uh, the industry is growing a bit in its own way. Mm -hmm. It's growing uh, quite a bit in its own way. We are we are where we weren't uh, a few years back. Mm -hmm. We are starting to see maybe larger numbers. Um, millions are, are starting are to getting common now. Yeah. That, you know, people are starting to hit millions and uh, you know million streams just like that. So yeah. that on its own is a, is a thing because. Uh, that could be the, the beginning of our, of our, I mean, a breakthrough, kind of our of. breakthrough to, to, the, to the other side of uh, the world. Yeah. Because, uh, like you said, believe it or not, everything is digital now. Mm -hmm. People check your numbers, like, ah, okay, wh what, are, wh what numbers is this guy pulling, you know? Mm -hmm. So that way, if we keep doing what we're doing and we keep endorsing each other, especially endorsing each other mm -hmm. that's the one thing that maybe we need to work more on if you put out your record i need to be able to endorse you as my countryman the moment we unite, we unite mm -hmm. we create a bigger brand or a bigger image people out there are going to take us in quickly so if we if we if 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 we if we form I don't know what, what, what it is. Someone even jogged with me the other day and said, I think we should just have one channel and call it Zimbabwean music. Everyone applauds to that one yeah, channel. Yeah. And then we pull out all these That's big... That's actually a good idea. We pull out all these big numbers. That way we start attracting, you know, those huge... Mo the more towns, mm, the mm, Sony, mm, mm, what, what, the so-so deaf, what, what. Because it's all about the numbers at the end of the day anyway. So, yeah, I think... Um, 
So for, 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 for others who, who are starting uh, or want to start, the first and the most important thing is for you to trust in your own self first. I can trust you if you don't even trust yourself. Yeah, true. That's true. I can trust in your talent if you don't even believe you're talented. I That's can't true. help you if you can't help yourself, kind of vibe. <laughs> yeah, like, this is, this people, this is like literally <laughs> biblical. You should like help yourself exactly. in order for other people to help you too. Yeah, yeah so I, I know we're talking about music now, but I think it, uh, it translates to everything we do in life. Believe in yourself first, that's the starting point. Be able to learn from those who've done it before. Trust me, all this, all, all this we're doing has been done before. Mm -hmm. um, our elder um, Dara Tuku has done it before, you know, uh, rest his soul. But I'm mm -hmm. sure uh, what was, had it been here now, I would be nagging him a lot, <laughs> asking for <laughs> tips and whatnot. <laughs> It's the only way to go about it. Mm. Uh, get yourself a mentor if you can. Uh, talk to Rocky if you have access. The guy is good, you know. Uh, talk to whoever is access accessible uh, to you. Mm. Get pointers. Uh, just just be humble a little. Don't get a big head when he starts working. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true, 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 true. yeah, but uh, most importantly, just put in the hours, put in the work. Hard work pays. Um, any day more than talent yeah true that's true that's so true. yeah believe in yourself work hard uh, be humble uh, humility is just uh, is it is, is an art on its own <laughs> yeah j j just be yourself everything be yourself. will literally just work itself itself out yeah so anyway as we're coming to a close uh i just have one last whew, important and pressing question okay. And the aspect of like you know we talked about the whole pandemic thing yes. and stuff and like People mostly, like in the music industry in Zimbabwe, the way they get their revenue is through through aspect of shows and like touring around the nation or mm. around the con other countries and stuff like that. How do you think people will pull up after this whole thing has seemed to cease? Okay, so it's actually unfortunate uh, that the pandemic is making things the way they are. Uh, in the industry, everything becomes more hectic. Uh, almost, uh, we, we we thank God for, for for the internet. Otherwise, everything <laughs> would be on a standstill. Yeah, now true, 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 true. But in terms of pulling up, I actually think uh, after after the pandemic has died down, let's not stop all the virtual shows and whatnot. I actually like the co uh, the idea of virtual shows. Mm -hmm. I think virtual shows uh, just became popular with us because of the pandemic, but they've been there. Some they've countries been have been really, doing yeah, it. Like I'm, I'm sure you know the Coca-Cola studio and whatnot, those yeah, are yeah, virtual yeah, yeah. shows and whatnot. Mm -hmm. I think we should uh, embrace the virtual shows for those who can't have access to the actual shows. Yeah, yeah, true, true. And the good thing about virtual shows, you can have your own show at your own place. Yeah. Uh, and if you remember something I said a few minutes back, let's try and work together yeah yeah, yeah. unity unity yeah, true. greatness comes through collaboration mm -hmm. already your mind is great but fuse it with mine is greater true we get a third person is greater we get a fifth person is greater we get phantom from choose spot is uh, greater you know you know you know what i mean it becomes a delicacy yeah so i think uh everything becomes easy if you try and work with someone yeah true you can't build zimbabwe on your own you can't mm. you need you need everyone to hold your hands yeah to carry you like have you your back and like people yeah, so, show you the way mm, so the simple answer uh to people bouncing back <laughs> just you know just unite and work together then, uh, yeah you know, we just complement each up. other where you lack maybe i don't where i lack you don't mm -hmm. so that way you might be lacking in fans wow maybe i do have a problem solved you have what I don't, uh, you know, the butter, the butter vibe, the butter tree we used to do. That, <laughs> we that, used to do back then. Yeah, that, 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 uh, that thing is very uh, genius. <laughs> so we should just apply it in our modern times. Yeah, true, 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 true. Okay. <laughs> our interview, people, has come to an end. Please, thank you for tuning in. You can visit our website, newsinbabwa.com for more information and more details like you know and further stories on your favorite celebrities this is us signing out the two people with lots handsome zimbabweans <laughs> men obviously so we're saying goodbye and we hope you have a good one until next week cheers